If you're like me, your morning routines are full of that typical hustle and bustle that simultaneously make us cuckoo and gives us purpose all at once. I pour a cup of bitter coffee to get my caffeine fix and head out the door. But is there another way to not just consume and go, but actually savor and enjoy my daily routine? In a quest to discover some of Long Beach's best local coffee shops and overhaul the way that I, and maybe most of us, think about our morning cup of joe, I met up with Matthew, the founder of Long Beach Coffee Club. Yep, folks, it's a real thing. We talked about why he started the club and asked him for several of his choices of what coffee shops to visit. I started the Long Beach Coffee Club for the need to connect with other coffee nerds around Long Beach. I just love all coffee, so I would always want to pick the brains of baristas or talk to other people in coffee shops. Yeah, essentially, like I wanted a place for consumers to learn about coffee, and yeah, so we're just kind of like the home for learning anything about coffee. We're gonna do like pour over classes and things like that. It's like in life, you have your home, your work, and then you have this other place, and for me, it's always been a coffee shop. Yeah, what's the coffee culture like here in Long Beach? Yeah, uh, there's a respect for everybody here where in other areas there might kind of be more of like a competition. Uh, most people in Long Beach really like know each other from like the business point of view so that's really nice. So Polly's is really interesting. It's very community oriented. With all that in mind, we headed to Belmont Shore to meet Mike Sheldrake, the owner and rock that orchestrates both the literal and figurative well-oiled machine over at Polly's Gourmet Coffee. Is this the most established coffee shop in Long Beach? Yes. We opened in 1976. We were part of the Polly's Pies restaurant chain. And when we opened our shop, we were the only in-house coffee roasting business between Brentwood and San Diego. Yeah, and now there's people roasting coffee all over Southern California, but at the time, we were it. We sold beans, and we sold giftware, and that was it. And in the beginning, when we started selling coffee drinks, we made each drink by hand, and if you wanted a flavored coffee, we'd put cinnamon powder on top. <laughs> now we sell thousands of drinks a month. We, we just had our, uh, our local Christmas parade, and we sold a thousand coffee drinks Saturday night. Just that night? One night. The thing about any coffee store, and this coffee store is no exception, where the coffee has to be right, and the price has to be right, the store has to be right, but the relationship has to be right. If you run your store properly, you don't own it. Your, your customer owns it. their store, you're, you're the caretaker. And so I tell my staff that, that if that relationship between them and the customer doesn't go right, then we haven't done our job. I have met so many interesting people in this store, it's amazing fantastic, talented, knowledgeable people from all over the world. And that's that's what this little store does for the community and what it does for me, is it gives me a social life and gives me connection. And the whole thing is tied to a good cup of coffee. What's your go-to? Holly's Blend. Holly's Blend is our signature coffee. It's a blend of uh, Colombian and Mexican beans. And if you don't like Holly's Blend, you just don't like coffee. The drink is meant to be enjoyed. And so if you start with great coffee, you can do whatever you want to to enhance it and modify it. Our signature drink is a drink that you want. So if you want a double latte, extra hot, non-fat milk, no foam, with a shot of cinnamon on it, that's our signature drink right there. And when the next person comes in, that's their signature drink. We don't, we don't limit it. Because the secret isn't in the ingredients, the secret's in the craftsmanship. Okay. Try roast coffee the way Michelangelo would, would sculpt a horse, okay? He would get a really good block of marble, and he would cut away everything that's not horse. Oh. That's how I roast coffee. <laughs> From the most established coffee shop in Long Beach, we headed across town to North Long Beach to discover how Juliet, the owner of Black Ring Coffee, engages with the community, collaborates with other local artisans, and serves up an amazing cup of coffee. Okay, Juliet, so tell me about the genesis, the start of Black Ring Coffee. So I wanted to do something that made me happy mm -hmm. and I've always loved coffee so I got together with my partner and we decided to start up this coffee company. Uh, we started out in Made by Millworks and we did regular pop-ups there and then at different festivals and things. We had people coming every week to come get the same coffee and buy our beans and we were like okay let's let's make this a brick and mortar. We looked around here and I saw this building and I fell in love with it. 
We're fairly relaxed vibe. We always have music playing. We're always kind of making friends with our customers, so we're pretty talkative. And we try to be very welcoming. If people have never heard of specialty coffee or have never even tried coffee before, we try to like help educate them if they want that and find them what they are actually going to enjoy. I would say our most popular drink is our honey oat latte. Um, it's honey and oat milk rather than whole milk, so it is a almost vegan option. Honey's not necessarily vegan, and then it has espresso in it. It'll kind of come across like Honey Nut Cheerios. Yes, you get I do that, that. Mm -hmm. oaty quality, a little bit of sweetness, not too much. It tastes smooth. It tastes smooth. Yeah, that's, I guess that's a good adjective to use. Yeah, absolutely. You're not like, going to get those no bitter. bitter right. No bitter. It's really good. I could drink this all day. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, I do. So I think the next one I'm going to make is the whiskey vanilla latte. Okay. That one is based off of the Long Beach Creamery's whiskey vanilla ice cream. Uh -huh. So they have black ring coffee ice cream. So we wanted a whiskey vanilla latte to kind of have a partnership with them. Yeah. You're going to be mainly tasting like a sweet vanilla flavor, and then at the end, you'll kind of get that bourbon flavor. Whoa, this is delicious. Yeah, awesome. this is so good. Yeah, it's a little sweeter than the other one. Um, it's a very popular one. I do get a hint mm -hmm. of whiskey flavoring. Yeah. But the vanilla is really, I feel like, the dominant flavor, and Absolutely. it's delicious. And that's what we were going for. We didn't want it to taste like alcohol. We wanted it to have that little <laughs> flair to it. Yeah, it does. You nailed it. You nailed it for sure. Awesome. What's your favorite drink here? Oh, that's so hard. I feel like I switch around a lot. Um, I love drinking black coffee, so a lot of times I'll just go for the regular drip coffee. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you a natural Ethiopian coffee. So that is called a Chemex, that hourglass coffee maker. Okay. Pretty. You smell that like berries and fruity quality to it. Mm -hmm. It kind of has like a toasted quality to it as well. Mm. Yeah, it tastes pretty light. Like mm -hmm. it's light and refreshing, I feel. Absolutely. Like a, it almost tastes like summertime. Yeah. <laughs> I mentioned this, it's like you really put your blood, sweat and tears into this business for sure. So you've got a strong connection to the community, to this building. Yeah, absolutely. To the culture, really. Definitely. In downtown Long Beach, there's now a lot of coffee shops, but originally it was recreational coffee, and their vibe is like you walk in, the music's blasting, the coffee's really good, and then um, they push the limits with what they're doing with coffee. You hear and you feel the vibe in there, and it's a good place to like get work done, have good coffee, and then have conversation. Usually like the environment is a little bit louder than most coffee shops, which I really enjoy. We're at Recreational Coffee. Is this your very first coffee shop that you've yeah. opened? Oh, cool. This is, yeah. We've been here, what, three and a half years now? You know, just Long Beach has been a big part of our lives, and, and, and having worked in, in Long Beach, I've pretty much been in every corner of Long Beach. Downtown was one that was underserved. We, we were able to kind of come to the consensus that this is a good spot. That you don't really expect to find a drink like yeah, this totally. at a coffee shop, and you said, but you do at recreational yeah. coffee. That's definitely I mean, something that we we like to push the envelope all the time, no matter what. And that's kind of us. We do things that are a little bit different. So I don't know, that's just what we do. We just are wanting to push the boundaries of what coffee is. And uh, especially uh, in Long Beach, we want to kind of give that to our, our community and they can enjoy it, you know? OK, so this is just straight. So this is just black coffee. It tastes, in my opinion, wildly different than just a traditional black cup of coffee. Kind of like a, a fruity kind of nuance to it. Very tea-like as well. OK. Yeah. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so there's a lot more subtlety to it. I just think it's a cultural thing that we're not used to, is taking time to relax and enjoy all different aspects of it. Aromatics, you know, enjoy the mouthfeel, the, you know, how it lingers. Coffee has so many different complexities to it that I feel like you can do all that with. Yeah, so that's our sea salt affogato. And that's an organic vanilla bean ice cream, three scoops of that. So our therapy blend espresso over, drizzled over that. Espresso grounds and then fresh packed sea salt. Oh my, this is amazing. Yeah, it's so good. Oh my Again, I didn't expect that. Yeah. It's got a powerful flavor, but like a, I would say bold flavor. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's sweet. Yeah, yeah, it's, I can't even. Get some of that top part of that, right? Throw that salt in. 
But anyway, this is our iced basil fruit. It's our iced coffee with a grapefruit and basil reduction that we make here in the shop. And the iced coffee already has a floral, kind of tea-like characteristic to it that is really the, the, the fruitiness of it actually is enhanced by the grapefruit. And, uh, and it's a little tart uh, from the grapefruit, so we balance it with basil as that aromatic, and it really kind of creates this like harmonious balance, a really refreshing drink, too. Okay, let's try it. Yep, cheers. Cheers. Mm. Yeah. Everything you said is true. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So we, we wanted our drinks to be uh, ones that are just not like one-time drinks. They're not things I just want once and like I tried it and that's it. You know? But we want it to be like something that you crave, that you want that all the time. Yeah. And that's that's part of why I love coffee is that you have coffees that don't taste like stereotypical burnt, like bitter coffees that a lot of people are familiar with, with like Starbucks or with you know donut coffee or whatever, you know. Yeah. Um, that you have complexities, you have uh, you know, sweetness and acidity and, and uh, balance to it all, you know. It's always very comforting coming home and just feeling the, the vibe of Long Beach, which is more like slow pace, um, relaxed, and everybody's super kind here. So we really care about each other and we try to help each other out. If we talk to somebody who is looking for a different kind of coffee, we will always suggest the other coffee companies and we, we want to see everyone succeed and we collaborate and we've done panels together and we're all kind of friends. You have the most uh, readily available good coffee in Long Beach than in pretty much any city around here. Literally all the coffee roasters in this area I know, even coffee shops, everyone is wanting to make the best cup of coffee. No one's wanting to settle for like, oh, okay, whatever coffee. Everyone wants to do a good job. Thanks to the journey through some of Long Beach's best coffee shops and conversations with their orchestrators, I've learned to think about my daily routine as something to be savored, like the reliability of the coffee itself and the thrill of trying something new. I like to refigure an old saying, let's all take time to stop and smell the coffee. Now put down those Starbucks cups and head down to your local coffee shop.